hello guys welcome to this episode of ordinary differential equation which is the same thing as ode i've solved something on this before like a topic which is picard approximation so we'll continue from here today so today we're going to be working on Lipschitz condition or Lipschitz condition now i have the statement here but then you don't have to um, memorize the statement I'll explain how you're going to understand and then remember when you're asked to state the statement. Yeah. So anytime you're asked to state the Lipschitz condition, the only thing you need to remember is what I'm going to explain now. So which is, I have an XY plane. Okay, don't mind that it's not straight. Now this is my Y and this is my X axis, right? Now the next thing is, I have a function f of x comma y. Take note of this. This is the first thing. If you want to understand this, the only thing you need to understand now is what I'm trying to picture here. So you have you need this, and then you need this in the red, in red ink. So this states this event is important. So this, this, and this. Now take note. Now you have an x y plane, right? So this is a function, a function of f of x comma y. So let's say this is my x. I'm just taking this point as my x. I'll take this point as my y. So then, let's say they meet at this point. So either I draw a circle or let's draw a rectangle instead. So, and this is the point where they This is our x comma y, right? So now, if you don't remember this Lipschitz condition, this is the first thing you're going to state. Now, this function... Is said to satisfy a Lipschitz condition. This function here will satisfy the Lipschitz condition if it is inside. Now, this rectangle we can call this rectangle a domain, we can call it a domain or a region, domain or a region, or you call it a region. We still, or we call it a rectangle. It depends on where we want to use it or how it comes out from my mouth. And I'm explaining. So, um, now the first thing is that let this function be in this domain. So, let this function be in this domain. Now, if this function is inside this domain, then we have, now I told you that I should also take note of this, right? So, let's say I have this in my head already that I have this minus f of x comma y1 absolute value is less than or equal to k of what this is it though whatever you have here is what you're going to have here so i have y2 here right so the first thing i'll have is what y2 minus what do i have here y1 so suppose i have y1 here and y2 i'll take y1 first minus what y2 so when we get to um the proving on other things you understand what i'm talking about when i say if you, whatever you have here what you're going to put here so now i said the first thing is if, um this function is set satisfy Lipschitz condition only if it is first thing is the first condition if it is inside this domain now if it's inside this domain and the domain is in a what x y plane yeah the domain in an x y plane now talked about this function then there exists a constant k talking about this constant there exists this constant k such that now you cannot have this this is just the absolute value of f of x comma y2 and f of x comma y1 absolute value of different functions are different um stay um, point of y's yeah so less than equal to k whatever you have here don't forget it could be anything, it could be why it could be anything in short, whatever you have here. Because, but for lip sheet conditions, is y2, y1. Someone says, Look, I give you y1, y2 at some point. But here, I have it as y2 minus y1. When I'm talking about it, when I say it could be anything, it implies let's say I'm proving something else. So, take note. I want you to understand the system here before I'll be, because I'll be taking other things. So, if you were things like um, the the Picard theory, which is the uniqueness and solution to uniqueness, uniqueness and approximation theorem yeah and other things like that so if you don't understand this this is like the foundation then you might have problem and i'm trying to explain other things to 
so kind of try to subscribe to my channel i know you've been enjoying my videos yeah do um subscribe and then turn on the notification bell to get notified because i've been I'm posting or i'm uploading lots of explanatory videos related to ode yeah today or well, to be on any other day but i'll be uploading other videos soon but you need to understand this foundation very well so if you understand what i've been doing please like my videos comment if you have any questions and um yeah don't forget to subscribe so as i was saying the first thing is that this function is satisfied with this condition if it is inside this domain d and then there exists a constant says i'm taking it back i said just know this then you don't have to cram all this here if you know this too you picture how to write the things you want to do right things you want to state so a function is said to satisfy a Lipschitz condition if it is inside a domain d in an xy plane then if there exists this k you can say let there exists a constant k then tell them that where k is greater than zero so that's the same thing as positive constant k so if there exists a positive constant k such that you have this now you tell them what this you have to tell them that okay this you this are different this is not more f of x from my y this is f of x from my y too it implies that you tell them that oh then it implies where this f of x where this x and y two are also inside this domain x and sorry x and y two is also inside this domain x and y one two is also inside this domain d then you cannot say this constant is called the what lip sheets constant and so now then kind of go back for you to understand what i'm saying so i said um a function f of x comma y is said to satisfy a leaf sheets condition if it is inside you see i'm not usually i'm not really using the english that i wrote here right because i don't understand what, understand what i want to explain so that's the way you're going to understand it and not just memorize and forget so a function is said to satisfy a leaf sheet condition if it is inside this domain d in an xy plane now if there exists a constant k i told you there is a constant k such that you have this and don't forget i already explained why you have this here so where the points now i tell them about this point too that where these points x and y x comma y2 and x comma y1 both lie in the domain what d then this constant is said to be said to be a what leap sheet constant that is that on this condition and let's take an example so you understand and then i'm going to give you like mm, let's say a cheat for you to understand what i'm talking about so going to this example so the example states that show that the function f of x comma y equals x y squared because x y squared satisfies the Lipschitz condition on a rectangle r now what this is saying is sorry what this is saying is okay it's working now what this is saying is that show that this function satisfy this Lipschitz condition now recall what is the Lipschitz condition saying we said the Lipschitz condition states that if we have this we should have this right f of x comma y2 minus f of x comma what y1 should be less than or equal to k whatever you have here so y2 minus what y1 now that means but we only we only have f of x comma y right so i'll write it as f of x comma y which is what x y squared right now if i want to prove if i'm using Lipschitz condition which is what i want to prove statement so i have to use this right so now it implies i will need f of x comma y2 and f of x comma y1 right so here i want f of x comma y2 it implies this still the same f of x comma y but implies anywhere i see y i'll put what y2 so this is going to be x y2 squared this for the first one so for the first one now for the second one f of x comma y1 so i have it as f of x comma y1 to the x what yeah i know you just guessed it right it's going to be f of x comma y1 squared now so that implies i'll have f of x comma y2 that means if i'm using this left hand side i should get to the right hand side right so minus 
f of x comma y1 less than sorry it is equal to now this statement is equal to what is our f of x comma y2 say so it is x y2 squared what is our f of x comma y1 so the minus what is our f of x comma y1 absolute value it is what x y1 what squared don't forget the absolute value now this is the same thing as same thing as x so you can bring x out then you have y2 squared minus what y1 squared now and this is less than or equal to y anytime you have so note if you have absolute value of a plus b it is less than or equal to absolute value of a times absolute value of b same thing as if you have a um, product here so this is what we have here so here it's going to be less than or equal to absolute value of each so this is going to be y2 squared minus y1 squared right now this y2 squared and y1 squared is just like me saying y2 minus y1 all squared which is the same thing as what difference of two squared and if you have difference of two squared it implies that if i have a squared minus sorry it's not the same thing as what i said excuse me i made a mistake here y2 minus y1 y2 squared minus y1 squared is different from y2 minus y1 all squared it is different yeah note so when you have this y2 squared minus y1 squared is the same thing as difference of two squared right so it's going to be a squared minus b squared equals a squared oh, sorry a minus b and a multiplied by a plus b so you have this back but when you have a minus b or squared it is not equal to a squared minus b squared it is different you have something totally different so what we want to do now is difference of two squared so this is going to be less than or equal to x so y2 minus y1 into brackets second one is y2 plus what y1 so let's just take it as absolute value absolute value so sorry let me just write it back so you have it as y2 minus y1 y2 plus y1 notice that notice that we don't want um, we want it to look like this, right? Don't forget. So that means I won't tamper with. I won't touch this y2 minus y1. Then I'll have it to be less than or equal to. I'll keep it here. Let me keep it here so I will differentiate it. Sorry, like I will know that it's different. So y2 plus y1. So this is less than or equal to y2 minus y1. Now what is x? In the statement, they said x is less than or equal to what? 1. So less than or equal to 1 y is less than or equal to what one at any point of y so i have one plus one that means this is two right so if this is two two times one is still two so this is less than or equal to two y two minus what y one if you compare it with your leaf sheet condition it implies that your k equals what your k equals two so you see that it satisfies the leaf sheet condition on the rectangle r now let me show you the shortcut to this no shortcut per se, but then for you to check if your answer is correct or wrong. So now we had this question, right? So the next thing for you to check if your answer is correct or wrong, just do um, the F, the Y is give you your constant K. Now look at it. What is your f your f is what the f is x y squared right so if f equals x y squared then the f dy absolute value of the f dy what is the f dy it means you are differentiating y m um, f with respect to what y any other thing that is not y taken as a what constant now using product rule which i've explained countless times so i will let this go this time around so it's going to be 2 y x right and what is our y? They said y is less than or equal to what? 1. So you have the f, the y to be less than or equal to 2. Your y is 1 and your x is 1. So that means your df, dy, less than or equal to what? 2. So it just implies that your k equals what? 
two, which I told you first. This is less than or equal to k. So your k equals what two. That means when you are giving lots of questions, you could just quickly check if you are right or wrong. This is our k. And then we did it through the long process. What did we have? We still had it to be what two. So just note that if you want to check, you just do um to check. All you need to do is d f d y you do the fdy then you put in your values to get your key and that is that for that. that's like the simplified way for me to explain if you have any question you can drop it in the comments box and if you really do understand why i explain do like my video and subscribe thank you so much for watching have a nice day